an example of a quadratic equation. This makes it quadratic. The function can make nice curves like this one. The name quadratic comes from quad, meaning square, because the variable gets squared, like this one. It is also called an equation of degree of 2, because of the 2 on the x. The standard form of a quadratic equation looks like this. A x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. a, b, and c are known values, but a can't be 0. x is the variable or unknown. It means we don't know it yet. Here are some examples. In this one a is 2, b is equal to 5, and c is 3. Another example would be like this. This one is a little more tricky. Can you see the a? Well, a is equal to 1, as we don't usually write 1x squared. b is equal to negative 3. And where is c? Well, c is 0, so is not shown. Finally, we have the last example. Oops! This one is not a quadratic equation. It is missing x squared. In other words, a is 0, which means it can't be quadratic. Now let's talk about the hidden quadratic equations. As we saw before, the standard form of a quadratic equation is a x squared plus b x plus c equals 0. But sometimes a quadratic equation does not look like that. For example, in disguise we have this given x squared equals 3x minus 1. To transform it to standard form, we have to move all terms to left-hand side, so we have x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 0, where a is 1, b is negative 3, and c is 1. Another example in disguise is this one. For us to transform it to standard form, we need to expand, or undo the brackets, and move 5 to left. So we have 2w raised to 2 minus 4w minus 5 equals 0, where a is 2, b is negative 4, and c is negative 5. Let's explore more. In disguise, we have this given. Can you help me transform it to standard form? Good job. So we need to expand it and move 3 to left. Therefore, the standard form would be z squared minus z minus 3 equals 0, where a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 3. I have a question. Do you know how to solve them? The solutions to the quadratic equation are where it is equal to 0. They are also called roots, or sometimes zeros. There are usually two solutions, as shown in this graph. And you know what? There are a few different ways to find the solutions. We can factor the quadratic, or find what to multiply to make the quadratic equation, or we can complete the square, or we can use the special quadratic formula, where you can just plug in the values of a, b, and c, and do the calculations. We will look at this method in more detail now. As we go further, we will proceed to the next part of our lesson.